The reason I think he's a bad father is because he'd take his son on stream, fuck with his son on stream until his son got upset, and then use his upset son as content. Like, he knew that fucking with his son in games would upset his son. Like, in co-op games, he would push his son off a cliff and stuff. Dad, um, stand right here. Do you see me? Mm-hmm. Yeah, press, uh, um, press Alt and F4. That will give you commands to actually hack this game. Really? Yeah. Hold on. <laughs> Whoa, it actually worked. No. Wait, yeah, hold on. I just had a crazy menu pop up right now. Look, I... No. Yeah, I've got flares gotcha. right now. I, I, I learned from my mistakes from scams. No, wait, this is yeah. actually crazy. Wait, have you have you tried pushing this? Hold on, wait, wait. Um, try, try pushing Alt F3 and then see if that brings up a menu for you. Does it work? Oh, Alt and F3? <laughs> Me now. Right, and his son's like eight, nine years old at the time. I, I think that's really shitty. I, I, th I think that's really shitty. It's that's child abuse in my eyes. So what's going on? What you on my video and you want to talk about it? Um, yeah, it's just it's interesting to uh, chat with people that have interesting perceptions of me. Uh, I'm curious. Uh, interesting perception. Oh, okay. I, I mean, I don't have much of a perception of you. I don't really follow you or anything. It's just like. <laughs> saw this this instance i've seen other obviously drama around you but i haven't really paid that much of attention to it and just tweeted about it and then talked about it on stream and highlighted it and put it in a video so I, what's interesting do you really think the only comments that you made were restricted to these particular set of comments that i made or did you reach a little bit further maybe how did i reach further <clears throat> well do you want me to explain it or are you just pretending to forget and you're hoping that i forget no, I'd, I'd love for you to explain how I went further. I, I'm very curious. So it seemed like you were pretty desperate to try to reach back into different areas of my personal life that you'd heard, I guess, nuggets of information about. Um, not restricted to the way that I look. Oh, so you're not mad life. about... You're not mad about me saying that, you know, the take that it's the victim's fault in a situation of sexual assault is, you know, a bad take. You're upset about the other stuff. Oh, no, I can be upset about all the things. I'm not really upset at all. I, I started this conversation off by saying yeah. I was interested. Um, the whole victim stuff, well, yeah, we can talk about that. That's interesting, too. Um, it just mm -hmm. seems strange that you were so quick to assess so many parts of my character without seeming to know that much about me. And I was just curious sometimes where um, those perceptions come from. So, like, the equating me to well, Ben Shapiro. I'm saying it from what I've seen of you, right? Like, mm -hmm. well, I, I do equate you. You're basically <laughs> the same, right? You do the, you do the fast talking and you argue from ridiculous stances this is just what i've seen of you right so i've so seen probably that, like, the negative highlights but is me talking fast is that like a intrinsically negative quality should i just no down it's when my... you no no I, I talk fast too right like every you know, lots of people talk fast huh? but my issue with you is when your response to somebody is to talk fast for a long time without actually saying anything that's just that's just my observation of you is it's fine mm -hmm. No, that's that's for you, right? But okay, so you think that I talk fast without saying anything, and I have ridiculous yeah. stances. I, I think some of the times when you're arguing with people, especially when you're debating with people, and I think you do it for the reaction often, um, that you you talk fast and say basically nothing, or repeat the same point eight times, and then you know we go blah 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 blah, get owned, and then that's it. But that's you know, it's debating on the line. It's it's fine. Do you think uh, that, I don't know um, why you're upset about that offhanded comment. Well, I'm not. That's I'm not upset. So what I was interested, and in, I'll repeat it for the third time. I'm just interested where some of these perceptions of me come from, and I'm curious if these are like good faith. Just what I've seen of you, right? This is the internet. This is the internet, right? We we uh, see a small window of other people's lives, and that's that's mm -hmm. what we do. But sure. So do you think there might be a reason just, why in certain clips I'm talking quickly? because you're trying to get your point across quickly. It's not the talking quickly that's the issue. It's the mm -hmm. just rambling at high speed in order to cut people off. But well, that's fine. If that's how you want to debate with people. Mm -hmm. Do you I'm think I do it. this it's mainly in one-on-one my... -on -one conversations or have you seen clips of me on like nine-person panels where everybody's screaming? I've seen both. So I'm 
curious, and I wouldn't expect you to have this offhand because I'm not here to source you, source you, even though you think that apparently I conduct myself that way. But can you remember off the top of your head, what's a conversation you feel like I was particularly egregious? Because I feel like I try pretty hard to have reasonable conversations with people most of the time, but I still get pigeonholed into this, like, you scream at people, talk over them, and are a debate bro. And I don't think I've done this for like five years. I mean, I'm sure I have like every now and then, depending on who I wind up in a conversation with. But for the most part, I don't think that's how most of my conversations go. But is there like, is there one that stands out to you? And I don't, I wouldn't expect you to have all of these offhand, like, well, on December 27th. Honestly, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I, look, dude, I mm -hmm. wasn't planning on streaming today. It's 1 a.m. here. I don't have clips on hand. Yeah, I've got fine, a yeah. general okay. impression of you. I haven't followed you. Like, it's not like I've been like, oh, yeah, let's, let's see what the Destiny drama is today. I've seen clips like posted on Twitter. I've seen mm -hmm. clips posted on Reddit. Like, it's just, it is what it is, right? That's yeah. my impression of you. That's fine. That that's, you know what? That's totally fair. In the video. Yep. It wasn't. That's it fine. wasn't the focus of my, of my dialogue. It wasn't <laughs> what I was focused on or trying to like read you for. It was just like, yeah, hey, I never said it was the fo I never said it was the focus. Um, okay, just, all right. I'm just it's all right. Like it's fine. Yeah, I think it's fine. Um, I, yeah, I never said it was the focus. It was just I was just curious where that perception came from. Um, <clears throat> do you want to? Well, there were other comments you made too that I'm curious. You seem to have. Yeah, go ahead. I mean, go ahead. Well, I'm. Um, I kind of want to. Do you talk about like the troubles of like fake news or people believing memes too much or whatever? Is this like a thing that you feel strongly about? I don't know your background at all if you do politics normally or... No, I, I, I do some politics. I give my opinion. It's not like mm -hmm. I'm a pure political streamer or trying to be involved in... There seems to be far too much drama in the, in the sort of <laughs> sphere, but I, I'm, I'm basically a 200 viewer Andy on a good day, right? Mm -hmm. I just do whatever the fuck I feel like with a small community, so it's not... Sure. Do you it's think that like it might I'm be in, a little bit strange anything, to form what? like super strong opinions about like very highly selected clips you see about somebody that are spread on certain? I think that some of the clips I've seen, I, I, I'm thinking you're talking about the stuff where I've said I think you're a bad parent, right? Well, not necessarily that. Just anything we've spoken about. But, but yeah, I mean, we can go into that stuff too. I'm just curious. I mean, I'm, I'm assuming that that's where you're getting at with this one, with the selective clips that you've seen. Blah blah. Well, no, blah, it was about blah, the screaming like, over people thing. I was just because so many of my conversations oh, yeah. are like pretty boring, Dude, like pretty straightforward. Everybody like, gets. Yeah. Everybody gets clipped out of context. Everybody gets like painted in the worst possible light. I'm just mm -hmm. saying that from you, that's what I've seen the majority, right? Like the majority of what I've seen is from you. I mean, I got banned on Twitch for like a month and a half because I got reported for being transphobic for saying I was going to have a penis in an Animal Crossing island and somebody made a false report mm -hmm. and they watched the six second. So it's like whatever, right? Like, Well, you say it's whatever. So my issue isn't that you might have selectively seen clips of me that paint me in a certain light, is that you felt that it was appropriate to repeat that and basically serve as but, a propagation but point am or I an not, amplification point for am, it. Am I not me. allowed to, am I not allowed to like share my overall impression of somebody because I haven't seen all of their content? Is that what you're saying? Uh, because I haven't watched every single stream or I haven't even watched the majority of his streams or long streams. Uh, my impression of you that I get from, you know, uh -huh. the general internet over the last five years is completely invalid and I shouldn't share that when talking about you and a terrible fucking take that you had. Do you is think that, that this is a is, conversation about what I think you're allowed or not allowed to do? Do you think that's what I'm getting? At? I, I think, yeah, I think you want to talk to me, right? Like, you you watched my video and you're upset, so you want to talk to me. I don't... I, I, why else would you want to talk to me? I'm, I'm literally nobody. I am nowhere on your sphere. You want to talk to me because something about my video upset you. That's that's what it is. Okay? Do you think it's possible that I just saw your video and I was one interested where your assessments came from, and two I disagreed with your take on the video, and it just wanted to chat about it? I mean, it. Is yeah, that but you, you, yeah, but if you dis if I disagree with somebody and I don't think they matter, I just or what they say didn't matter or hurt me, I just go, well, that's fucking stupid, and I move on. So you never try to engage somebody with a difference of opinion. You're just like, wow, they're dumb. No, I, I've them. engaged people with differences of opinions uh -huh. on, you know, subjects. I, I've, in, I've allowed people to debate me or talk to me or whatever, like, all the time. That's fine. But I, they want to talk to me. It's not the other way around. I don't go looking for people to talk to because they've said something bad about me on Twitter or they've made a nasty video about me. It's not like I got out of my way. Do you think you know I've I mean? gone out of my way? Or do you think that maybe a video was linked to me by a fan? They said, watch this versus take. I watched it. I disagreed okay, with it. Okay, sorry. I, I, I apologize. I apologize profusely for using the term gone out of your way. You comment, you messaged me on Twitter and tried to arrange a debate. I, apro I apologize for mischaracterizing that as going out of your way. That's my bad. That's, that's, you know, it's very easy to write a tweet. You're right. It's all good. 
Okay. Are you feeling okay? This is a, we're sorry, very aggressive, and we haven't even really gotten to any of the big disagreement points yet. I don't. I don't think I'm being aggressive. I just. I'm just confused, well, you've bro. Called me I'm mad just, about I'm 18 times. Well, um, I'm sitting here genuinely confused. If you're not mad about the video, if you're not upset, sorry to use mad because that's uh -huh. an internet term, right? Like. If well, you're not, on, they, upset. We're not you don't, we don't have to use like it's not like an internet term or internet lingo. No, but you know when people mm -hmm. say, "Oh, you're mad," it's it's trolling or whatever. You seem upset because you have contacted me, somebody who is literally not in your sphere at all, because I made a video giving my opinion on your take, and either you're upset about my opinion on your take, which I'm happy to discuss, or you're upset about something else I said during the video, which again. I'm happy to discuss, but you're going to have to bring up your specific issues if you want to talk to me about them, because otherwise I don't know what's upsetting you, right? Like these roundabout, well, don't you think that maybe, you know, you've seen out of context, say what I said that upset you or bothered you, and then I'll respond to it. That's it. That's, that's as simple as it can get. I don't know what else to say. So I don't really like the meta framing around the conversation that I am super upset and okay. Then I've gone what out of my way you? Okay. to, to All right. communicate All right. with somebody that's what, outside of my what sphere. Slightly, to what bring them on. slightly? Yeah, no, no, it's just. What, okay. I, that's fine. I, that's fine. I, I, All right. Okay, go ahead. You can you frame can it however keep, you want. You I don't. I don't care how you frame it. I really don't. I'm uh -huh. sorry. Look, this isn't what I'm here for. Okay. I'm not here for how we're going to frame this conversation. We're having this conversation because you wanted to have this conversation. So. Well, you were. You seemed willing to have the talk. about what you want to talk about? Did you? I mean, yeah, because my people were messaging me going, ha Destiny wants to talk to you, Destiny wants to talk to you, and I thought it might be, you know, interesting. And that's well, fine. Didn't, but, didn't somebody again, comment on your video before I even reached out to you saying, would you be willing to talk to Destiny on stream? And you said, there's 0% chance he'd ever agree, but yes. Oh, yeah. I, I mean, I said I'd be willing, yeah. Okay, so that's it fine. seemed like there was a desire to have a conversation. Don't you think it's also possible that I there's reached a difference, out? There's a difference between a willingness and a desire, right? You know that, right? Well, depends on now. So you've accused me of doing Ben Shapiro debates, and now you want to talk about the difference between a willingness to do something and a desire to do something. Is that yeah. where we're going? If I'm like, yeah, you know, he's down to do it. <laughs> uh -huh. I'm down to do it. That's chill. Uh -huh. That's one thing. But I, I haven't gone. Did I at you at any point being like, hey, dude, let's let's talk about this? No, but you made like a 20 minute video that was like digging pretty heavily into my personal life and stuff. Bro, so. it was a 20 minute segment of a stream that I went chop chop upload to YouTube. I don't upload videos to YouTube anymore. I just upload stream highlights. I don't care. Okay. I thought it was a decent conversation <laughs> that we had on stream. Sure, that's fair. I uploaded it. Okay, that's where a lot of my stuff comes from. Do you think it is possible that I just want to talk because I disagree with what you're saying and I'm not particularly upset? Okay, I apologize for saying you were upset. Is that it? Uh, why I'm not asking it, you for an apology. It, I'm just, what, well, what I, what I don't, don't want to... Why, why uh, are we still talking about this then? I don't understand. Look, mm -hmm. I, are you upset that I said you were upset? I don't get it. Like, no, I'm not upset. We I just, on? if we, yeah, we can. Okay, but so again, if we, if we approach you can this frame conversation, the conversation however you want. Uh, All right, you well, give it, me your motivation and I will take you at face value, okay? I will sure. assume you are in talking in good faith. What is your motivation for this conversation? And can we continue the conversation, please? My motivation was that you said a lot of things. There were there were two parts to it. One is I thought okay. you had an interesting personal assessment of me based on what seemed like a couple of discrete facts that you kind of know about me. That was interesting to me. I don't know how you made so many strong conclusions about me. And then secondly was um, I was curious about the disagreement related to the comments that I made. Um, okay, so yeah. which would you like to talk about first? Um, I'll let you choose. Well, let's talk about the uh, the comments first. We can get to the personal stuff after that. Uh -huh, sure. So how do you think that any of my takes on your comments were incorrect? Well, I didn't think any of my comments were incorrect, and you seem to think that my comments were incorrect. What, the comment that if a girl is having sex uh -huh. and somebody stealths her and she doesn't feel able to speak up, then uh, she should not be ever having casual sex? That if somebody isn't and able to that's, that's verbally reinforce a boundary during sexual intercourse, if that's something that somebody's not comfortable with, that person probably shouldn't be having casual sex. Yeah, do you think that's a really because if, if if a guy if a guy mm -hmm. has been told specifically, mm -hmm. I want you to wear a condom, and then during sex takes that condom off, how much do you think he respects what that woman has to say? Uh, I don't know. There could be a variety of things, but I mean, the respect level is obviously pretty low. Yeah. But do you so think there's a difference if she between not I, do that? If mm -hmm. she tells him not to do that during sex, is there a possibility that things could escalate? Well, I mean, there's always a possibility, but I would okay, say that it's probably right. incredibly think, rare. Yeah, uh, it's probably incredibly rare. If you're getting stealthed, because if you if you're stealthing somebody, you are an incredibly shitty person. You are a rapist, right? Like that is rape. 
legally there, well, that, that sure, is rape. but like there are different that, right? do you understand that there are different types of rapists well obviously there are different levels there's a difference between the guy who's like mm -hmm. walking the streets and beating women down and raping mm -hmm. them and people so who do you are think that, you know yeah so do you think that a guy healthy. that is being stupid and thinks that he can get away with slipping a condom off that this guy is going to respond a bit differently to a verbal pushback than a guy that's like violently assaulting somebody in an alleyway it's kind of yes not, i think that yeah. i think there is a chance mm -hmm. i think there is a chance that they would uh respond a bit differently but i also think that the guy who is stealthing is likely to respond with anger or violence as opposed to, you know, oh, my bad, shit, you caught me breaking the law and trying to rape you. Oh, shit, my, my bad, mm -hmm. sorry, let me put a new condom on. So then like, do, you just... think that in, do you think that in all circumstances where a guy is trying to push on a boundary that's already been established in the heat of the moment, do you think that you should never give verbal pushback to those people? Then? No, no, I think... I, I think it's fine to give verbal pushback if mm -hmm. you feel safe doing so. Do right? you think that it's but acceptable it's, that somebody should be engaging in sexual intercourse with somebody if they don't feel comfortable reinforcing those boundaries that they've established prior to sexual I, intercourse? I, I, think it's, I think it's acceptable for somebody to have casual sex expecting the partner that they have set a boundary with to not breach that boundary. And if that partner does breach that boundary, I do not think it is the fault of the person who had their their boundaries breached you understand well, like yeah i don't know who you're responding to right now though has anybody ever said that it's the fault of the person getting raped that they're getting raped i mean you you seemed pretty mad at the woman for not speaking up as if that was her big problem was not speaking up when she'd been raped the big I mean, the big problem now, is the person course. that's trying to rape it, it's somebody. come out that's now of big, course uh -huh. that she found out that he'd stealthed her afterwards which isn't right? relevant like, to any of this conversation right I mean, it so, is, I'm right? Not, because no, no, how could no, he so, have told her, how could she have told him to stop if she didn't notice? So in the in the initial tweet, she made it sound like it happened in the middle of the intercourse, but we're, that's okay. what everybody's talking about. And even you're giving and arguments during saying that. that during that, okay, in the on, middle wait. of sex, right? I, okay, so, so hold sex, on real quick. The situation you keep, changes. Wait, you you okay. keep accusing me of Ben Shapiro, but you've cut me off like 15 times now. Do you realize you're doing it or uh, not? That's fine. That's fine. I, I'm just trying to get a hold on what you're trying to say. No, 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 no. You're not trying to get a hold on anything. You've been in charge of this entire conversation. Okay. You've cut me off like, right, literally sure. 15 sure. times. Yeah. Okay. So let me try to get one thing out here before you cut yeah. me off again. Right. Yeah. So I never said it was her fault. All I said was that it's yeah. probably not. Yeah, really. If you want to go back and check, you can check. I never said it's your fault for getting raped. It's not your fault for somebody violating your boundaries. Nobody should ever be violating the boundaries, especially if you've discussed them beforehand. That should never happen during sexual interaction. But if you're the type of person that's never comfortable verbally reasserting your boundaries if somebody's trying to break them in the middle of a sexual uh, interaction, you probably shouldn't be engaging in casual sex. It's just not a very safe thing to do. And we shouldn't be encouraging people to do it. I, I don't know. So where do you draw the line on that? Where, where do you draw the line on that, though? Yeah, like, so I, I, can, I can draw a very clear line. It's not murky at all. Mm -hmm. If you're the type of person that feels like you're not comfortable having sometimes challenging conversations in the middle of a sexual interaction with somebody about what your boundaries are or reasserting them that they try to push, you just shouldn't be having casual sex. You like save it for longer term relationships or people that you trust more, but you're probably not like a safe for one night stands or just casual sexual hookups. It's probably not a good thing to send people into those environments so they can't keep themselves safe. I, I but do you understand that there's no sexual act that is like one no casual sexual encounter right that is 100% safe especially for women there's there's no way do you, you think can that go has into a sexual anything to do with what i'm nothing. talking about no no but no but if you don't feel comfortable asserting yourself in this particular situation this is exactly where i draw the line well what if you don't feel comfortable in another situation but that's that's worse than your line you know you were threatened in some way and therefore it's it's okay to not fight back or the guy was more violent or the guy you know tied you up and then you don't you shouldn't fight back because you could get hurt or he threatened do you your think life. that there's you a difference do you think there's where, a difference where, in no, saying somebody I, I should be able to verbly a sort of boundary versus of... fighting back against somebody trying to kill you do you really think those are the same thing but do you, do you understand that if somebody's like shut up stop saying no or i'm gonna hurt you right uh -huh. that's that's a boundary that's that's a boundary violation and they're saying shut up and do what you're told here so okay. here's what i'm where here's do you what draw I'm, the line yeah i can, I can tell you if you, you keep asking extreme. me no no you, you're trying to make this sound like a very complicated it's not it's very simple when you ask me where do you draw the line i can draw it for you very simply if, you, if you'd like me to. yeah but you drew yeah. it you drew it uh -huh. and i don't understand why is that exact sorry let me rephrase Go ahead. why do you draw the line exactly there you don't feel comfortable when someone stealthed you confronting them because like why there is the are, line exactly there? Because there are two. It's not like he okay, did something during sex mm -hmm. she didn't like. Mm -hmm. It's it's that he raped her. 
Okay, right? But the, the so ra- why is your okay, line? Because the problem here is rape is doing a lot of the heavy lifting. And I think it comes from a misunderstanding of what rape is or how most rape happens. A rapist as a stupid guy that's trying to push a boundary because he's horny and dumb in a sexual encounter is way, way, way different than a rapist who is like quartering somebody down and forcing themselves on a woman in order, or a man in order to try and rape them. And these people will okay, respond way- Okay, so where does way, like date rape fall on I, that scale then? People who drug girls or where, there is the majority well, even, of rapes, again, by the again, way, are gay rapes. Yeah, so even, the vast majority, yeah. so- I, Okay, hold on, I, okay. <laughs> Hold on, let's slow down for one second, okay? This is part of the reason why I feel so strongly talking about consent and rape-related topics and why I think so many of the takes are so bad, okay? Date rape, when, when, you, when you give this advice online and when you say, well, date rape, when girls' drinks get drugged, that's not the main way that people get date raped. A big way that somebody will get date raped is, I'm gonna bring a girl, drive her back to my apartment, I'm going to leave her phone in the living room, lock her in my room, and I'm gonna keep pressuring her to sex till I fuck her. That's like a form of date rape. You don't have to yeah, roofie somebody. Okay, hold on, hold on. You don't have to roofie somebody to date rape somebody. There are a lot of, I know. quote unquote, ordinary or normal behaviors that men engage in to pressure women into sex. This is where the concept of rape culture yep. comes from, okay? But every time you try to say when a guy is trying to push a boundary somewhere, right? In this case, you know, he's a rapist. The types of date rape or the types of familiar rape when people know each other that happen is not always a guy that's ultra violent and he's just a monster sociopathic rapist. It's usually just a guy that's horny, stupid, disrespectful, and is trying to push for as much as he can get, hoping that the woman won't stay, say anything or stop anything. But oftentimes, if you verbally reassert a boundary, a guy will usually fuck off. He's like, hey, I'm not doing this. Fuck off. You're like, oh, okay. Most of the time, that's what's going to happen. Because most I, men are not trying to violently rape you. They're just trying to see how much they can get away with. Okay, I, I'm, I'm confused as to how this, this pertains to what you're saying. You're saying that, one, people who are willing to pressure girls into sex, that's on the same level as a guy who is stealthing? You think that yes. people pressuring people into sex, that's yep. exactly the same level as people who stealth? Um, I think it's similar, yeah. No, I, I'm sorry, mate. Like, that's so crazy. Like, people pressuring people into sex, that's bad, right? Why I don't do you think, think there should be any pressure think involved. If a guy is going to stealth, why do you think the guy would stealth instead of just throwing the girl down and trying to fuck without the condom in the first place? It's because the guy doesn't want a confrontation. It's because the guy is nervous. The guy doesn't want to argue with the girl about it because he wants to see if he can get away with something. That's why it's called stealthing. Yeah, and when they fail to get away with it, people who do that kind of stuff often get angry. No. You understand that, right? If, if you are no. in an unsafe situation, have you ever been in an unsafe situation in a sexual encounter? Yes. Like, has that happened to you? Right. Yes. So when that happened to you, mm -hmm. did you feel completely comfortable calling out everything that was happening to you that was unsafe? So I don't think it's good to use me as a personal example because one, I'm probably relatively atypical and two, because I could just lie to win the argument. But anytime it's happened to me, yeah, I just verbally restate a boundary. I say, no, I don't want to do that. Or no, I'm not going to do that. And most people usually just fuck off. But I have more experience with women than men. And usually men are the only one that, the ones that push like that. So. Yeah. I mean, it's generally men who do this kind but of But usually stuff. in my, now my, I don't like to talk about my personal experience because it's far more limited than everybody's collective experience. But personally, most guys just seem horny as fuck and they're trying to push for as much as they can. Even if you tell them prior, hey, I'm not doing this. They'll keep trying to bring it up or they'll keep trying to push for it. But in my personal experience, you say, hey, no, I'm not doing that. No, fuck off. Then usually they'll stop. Now, if I wouldn't say anything, it would probably progress in areas that I wouldn't want it to, but I feel comfortable saying no. That's why I have casual sex. But if you're going to tell me two different facts, one, that women are likely to freeze up when a boundary is being tested, and two, that a man that's testing a boundary- I didn't say that all women. I, I didn't said say, that some I people, say, I said some okay. people would. Okay, I'm sure. Not, I'm not if you're telling me that, guys, I'm sorry, let me first. If you're telling me that some people are likely to freeze up when a man tests their boundary, one, and two, that men that test boundaries are going to rape at least 50% of the time, even if you verbally push back against them, that's fine. I can, I can agree with you on both of those points, but that means that your conclusion is we need to tell people to engage in a lot less casual sex. I don't know why you would be sending women to the rape pits if we think that they might be too nervous or, to verbally or reinforce a just, boundary. Just an idea. Mm -hmm. Just, just an alternative idea. We uh, we educate men better. We teach men about consent, and uh, we don't blame the people who get that consent no one, violated. No one is talking about blaming. Why? Yeah. We can no, we can educate the men, but why? Wait, wait, why can no, we? This is the same. Your criticism basically boils down to, well, she was wearing you know hot pants and a crop top, so she deserved it. Like that's that's what your your take effectively boils down to, right? Is like, oh, don't dress like that if you don't want to get raped, then. Because you're more likely, are you not objectively more likely to get raped if you dress sexually? 
No, I no. don't think so. Because again, that stems from a misunderstanding of where rapes come from. You know what you're more likely to get raped by doing that I would suggest people not do is doing drugs or drinking with strangers. That's something where I'd say drinking you with strangers. Yes, true. You what about do that. going? So we shouldn't go on dates because women get raped the most often when they've gone on a date, right? If with I was a, talking a to a female friend and she said, "Hey, I'm thinking about going out with a guy tonight for the first time, and we're going to get wasted," I would say, "Yeah, don't do that." Yeah, of course I would say, "Don't do that." Do you think? Do you really expect me to answer differently there? Well, I, I, I don't think it's a good first date with for a guy or a girl. If a guy said to me, hey, I'm going to go out with this girl for the first time and we're going to get absolutely wasted, I'd say that's a bad date. But that's cool. just okay, a bad cool. date, right? No, it's not a bad date because getting plan. wasted is super fucking uh, fun. And getting wasted with friends is can it? be really fun. Absolutely. But getting wasted with strangers is incredibly dangerous. I used to dangerous. drink a lot. I, I, don't, I don't agree, I think. But I've got a different relationship sure, with alcohol. You might have a different like relationship with alcohol. I'm not an alcoholic. I don't know any. Or I'm not saying you are, but I don't have a bad relationship with alcohol. It's fun for me. Or any type of No, drink. no, I, will. I, I, I fully was. Sure. Like 100%. I'm that's not fine. Gonna I understand. So it's obviously it's going to be different for you well, oh, well yeah so but i'm no. saying that like for anybody I, I'm, I'm saying that like you, you probably shouldn't like do drugs on the, on the first date because that's a really incredibly risky thing to do you're putting yourself in a really vulnerable position no i i, I agree but you understand how it's saying that it's a bad decision in general to do drugs on the first date is mm -hmm. not the same thing as in this high stress situation right being stealth is a high stress situation it's if not. you cannot respond in a very sp yeah. being stealth isn't a high stress situation no no. If no, you think so that a guy, if you think, if you, notice, yeah, if you think, if you think that, that a guy, guy, yeah, if you think that a guy trying to slip off a condom, if that's a really high stress situation, for you, I don't think you should be having casual sex because there's a lot of other things that can happen sexually that can be more high stress than that. And if you can't deal with even that type of boundary push, which it's shitty, but guys will try it, you probably shouldn't be having casual sex. I don't know why that's such a hard buy. Like I feel that's, if, that's that's a really hard buy. I think it, like I I'm think just I'm trying to think I'm trying to think I, personally I think it, from it, my okay, point of we, view. Hold on, hold on. I'm just trying to think from my personal point of view. Let's say that I meet more likely it's going to be a guy because I don't feel intimidated by women. But let's say that I meet a guy and this guy is like real. Or actually, mm -hmm. I can give a great example. I'm on Grinder one night. And I'm talking to a guy and this guy says he has a fucking sex dungeon in his basement and he's telling me to come over and he says I want you to come over and I've never met this guy publicly before. That's a situation where you know what? If this guy tries something, I don't feel comfortable that I would survive the encounter or that I'd be able to say no in that position and i said no i told him to fuck off there's no fucking way that i'm meeting you in your fucking sex dungeon on our first date you're absolutely out of your fucking mind and i said no and i blocked it i didn't do it right or if i meet a person i get bad vibes or if i see somebody's like man this guy's really scared i don't know if i could do it i don't think i would ever meet that person for casual sex that's how i would vet people personally and i would say the okay. same thing well, to any about, other person how about yeah how about there's a dude he's bigger than you you know mm -hmm. he's tougher than you but you're getting along you sleep with each other and he stealths you right Mm -hmm. Your response is going to be, hey, dude, don't don't push that boundary. That's chill, though. Like, just put a new condom on. Let's keep going. Or no, I would, I would, my response if, would be, hey, I said no to this. Like, I'm taking off. Like, I'm leaving. That's what I would say. Because I think that if anybody tried to sneak something like that, like stealthing, that's an instantaneous ultra 100% deal break. You should never see that person again. But yeah, you would just say, yeah, I got to go to the bathroom or I'm bailing. Like, I'm calling my friend. Like, okay, but mm -hmm. is it is it not... Is it not maybe a situation where if you feel threatened in that situation because we saw 140 characters on Twitter or whatever, maybe she felt threatened in the situation or as we saw, maybe she found out after the situation, right? And maybe you shouldn't be like, hey, you shouldn't be having casual sex. I have determined this because you are a, you know, I'm not going to say the R word on Twitch because I'll probably get banned. I'm not sure if My it's allowed My problem is that anytime we try to child, give advice on the side of the woman or the victim in this mm -hmm. sense, instead of being like, hey, there's good advice. You even said this earlier. Like, why can't we just educate men? We do educate men. We tell men not to rape all the time. I see we? this message. Yeah. Well, you're yes. in America, right? So you definitely don't educate men over there because your sex education is fucking garbage. Like, absolute Okay. Trash. And, and I'm in and, the UK where it's every, slightly better, but it's still every trash. Every single part of every part of culture, men are screamed at to not be rapists, to be respectful, et cetera, et cetera. Now, the conversation's high quality? No. But a lot of the times, they're not high quality because of people like you. Because the only advice so, you so, seem to want to give is, just don't rape, just don't rape, just don't rape. Sexual encounters are way more complicated than that. And I think that when you can only give advice on the man's side, and you can't say anything wait, to sexual, a woman. Sexual hold on, hold on, encounters let me just, are... Let me, let me, sorry. I, okay. Yeah, oh, I just want to finish one. You've cut me off so much in this conversation, okay? Sexual uh -huh. encounters are really complicated and I think that there are things that both parties can do to make sure that you have better outcomes for both parties during a sexual encounter. I think that it's a little bit infantilizing to look at a woman and say, hey, once the guy is fucking you, you need to sit there with your legs open and subject yourself to whatever he wants to do and God help you, if you open your fucking mouth, he's gonna rape and kill you. I think that that is an incredibly dire way or pessimistic well, way to view sex. And if you are viewing sex that way, why do we tell women to constantly engage in casual sex? Why don't we just tell them, hey, chill, save it for your boyfriend or husband? Or maybe, just maybe, you know, 
sexual encounters are a bit more nuanced, then either you have to be able to voice your discontent with anything going on and you have to be brave enough to do that or you should never have casual sex, or the other alternative is that women should just sit there with their legs open, as you said. Like, maybe there's a bit more nuance to the situation and Where maybe is the you nuance? shouldn't comment on situations that you don't fully understand. Well, there's, there's a lot of different situations where someone stealthing you is a problem, right? If it's a boyfriend of three years and he's being, like, silly and trying to push boundaries and you're like, hey, dude, come on, you know that's not fucking right. That's one thing. That's a completely different thing to a stranger doing it uh -huh. who you don't really know. It's your first sexual encounter with them. You had an agreement that they weren't going to do that. And then suddenly they do it. Yeah, we're you not can feel we're very not, threatened yeah, in that I situation. Yeah, I agree. But we're not talking in number one. We're not talking about a long-term boyfriend where people are doing dumb shit and it's like there's, you have a way, level, uh, way higher level of trust. That's a different situation yeah. from what we're talking about, okay? When you talk about being brave enough to verbalize a boundary during a sexual encounter, if that's a really big deal to you, then you shouldn't be having casual sex. Because then then you're saying time, that no, mm -hmm. nobody should ever have casual sex because no casual sex encounter is ever completely safe or you're never going to find a casual sex encounter mm -hmm. where there is nothing that could happen that would make you feel unsafe to verbalize your issues with what's going on. When right? you have because conversations, that, there is a line there for everybody. Yeah, when you have conversations about what you can do to keep yourself safe in any other domain, are you speaking a binary 100% or 0%? The answer to that is no. So why are you applying it here? I'm not saying that a woman verbalizing her boundary is going to be 100% safer, but she significantly increases the chance of that boundary being respected. But I'm not saying it's 100%. Point. You are saying, but no, you're saying that it is either zero or 100, right? That's my complaint about what you were saying. No, my I've never is, said that at all. My, my, what I was well, saying was that you if you said don't, I said that, that it, my idea was that women should just lie there with their legs open because they should never verbalize anything once they're being because fucked. Because you're right? telling you said that me that was yeah. my argument. Well, it sounds like, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, but it sounds like you were saying that it is possible that some women are too afraid to speak up if they're getting stealthed. And I'm saying that if you're too afraid yeah. to speak up if somebody stealths you, then you probably shouldn't have casual sex. Because there are different, like, not every stealthing is exactly the same. Not every dynamic between in two people is exactly the same. In a casual sexual environment, in a one night stand she environment. She might have felt comfortable with a different guy. She might have felt comfortable calling it out on a different night. She might have felt comfortable with the same guy on the same night if they'd had a slightly different conversation. The, the fact is that, that that specific situation she has stated and she stated right at the start that she felt uncomfortable, right? Which means she did not feel comfortable to speak up in that specific situation. She didn't say, I would never feel no. comfortable what to speak up. What did she say? Do you, remember what, do you remember what adjective she used exactly? She said she felt awkward. Yeah, people use different words. Like, well, hold yeah, on, no, no, no. Maybe Pe to minimize you the can't trauma just say, because You can't just say what? people use different words. Different words yeah, have I, different I, meanings. If you feel yeah. awkward and that awkwardness- Awkward and uncomfortable aren't similar. Awkward mm -hmm. and uncomfortable aren't similar. Even if I grant not, you that it means uncomfortable, awkward slash okay. uncomfortable, if that's enough to keep you from verbalizing a boundary, you shouldn't be having casual sex. Have you thought about maybe just the possibility that sometimes people use minimizing language when talking about trauma? If you're using minimizing language when talking about trauma and phrasing it in forms of like advice or things that other people on the internet, then you should probably just be banned from the internet. You shouldn't be talking about it publicly then because all you're doing is misleading other people into thinking that it's okay to have zero agency over themselves and any type of sexual interaction. You're engaging but in like a not, dangerous did, form of did misinformation. She ever, did she ever say that you should never have any agency? In a, now you're putting words in her mouth, right? I'm like not putting, when you start cool. tweeting out about your experiences on social media and you're kind of laughing and joking about them, then yeah, and you're not like criticizing yourself you carry some implicit like um you know like approval or support or whatever from the things you're talking about because after the, the after the end of what she was saying it was like i've been stealthed by three different guys and i was too awkward to say something like men you can do better that was the advice men you could do better and i thought okay well hold on like couldn't you do better as well like shouldn't you be verbalizing your boundaries or doing a little bit more like it's it's weird if you run into this problem so many times i don't know why you would continue to engage in casual sexual relationships when the level of danger seems so because, high to you because you should have the ability to engage in casual sexual relationships with a fair, uh, you know, a fair understanding and assumption that you're not going to get stealthed. I don't remember Wait, her laughing what, about do it. You think, I don't do remember you her think joking that, about do you, it. So that's the case. Do you think every single woman should just go and have casual sex and assume that the guy is going to act perfect every time? No, I think that there is a reasonable, like, right to be able to do that. I think there's a, a I think that we should when be When I talk about that, agency, you are giving all of the agency to the man here. Do you understand that you're doing that or no? I can explain that if you don't understand. Because you're telling me that in a sexual encounter, the man basically is calling all the shots. 
No, I'm not saying that. I'm saying that in this sexual encounter, the guy decided to stealth her and she did not feel comfortable speaking up. But don't like we think, that's shouldn't this. we encourage women to be able to speak up in these think, encounters? Instead I of... think we should. I think we should encourage women to be able to speak up and okay. we should encourage men not to do this kind of shit. Cool. I think that's true. Okay, wait, I so then we, using... then we agree. Then we, there's no, not we much of a disagreement here. We don't here, agree. No, we don't agree, though. Okay. Because I think the issue is when you start going after the woman who this happened to, who didn't feel comfortable speaking up and calling her an, a, a child and making jokes about her and minimizing her experience, that's where we disagree, right? We disagree on the fact that you are fixated on having a go at the wrong person. So I, I don't have, disagree so, that it would be on, a better on. world if it, every woman felt more confident and felt able to speak up those in these Those aren't the conversations that we have when it comes to this type of stuff. Instead, we hear the same two or three repeated memes over and over again that no man should ever rape, we'll just, or we'll keep educating the man, or it's like saying that she was wearing it so she deserved it. In all of these conversations, 100% of the agency is put on the man and the woman is there treated like a retarded child to either be raped or not raped based on the willingness of the man to do it. And any little bit of advice given to the woman or any type of, hey, maybe they could do this or that is automatically written off as victim blaming because you want to treat a woman as an unaccountable child who is only existing there at the whims of the man that's deciding whether he should or shouldn't rape her. So you're making the argument if she shouldn't have worn that because she got raped. That she shouldn't what? Oh, she shouldn't have worn those clothes that she was wearing, asking for. So this That's is why the analogy, making, so back there. the analogy doesn't work because wearing different clothes doesn't make you get raped. That's why that argument is stupid. You, I, you, you seem to think that the argument, she was getting raped because of what she was wearing. You seem to think that, oh, well, that's a bad argument because women shouldn't be able to do anything to make them get raped or not raped. That's not why it's a bad argument. It's a bad argument because you can get raped no matter what you're wearing because people don't choose whether or not to rape somebody based on their outfit. Usually it's okay. chosen based on the circumstances you are making the, the argument the women shouldn't go out clubbing because it makes them more likely to get raped. That is objectively true. I, when you I am, go out clubbing, I'm more likely to be raped. If you Are you wanna, saying that women should not go clubbing because they might get raped? In certain circumstances, yes. I'm saying that if you're going to go and perform certain actions that increase your risk, you also take certain precautions as well. So for instance, if a woman said, I want to go out clubbing alone and I'm going to get really wasted, I would say, that's a really bad idea. But if a woman said, I'm going to go out clubbing, I'm going to bring like two or three friends, I'm going to a place that I know and I trust and I know the people there, then yeah, cool, go for it. But yeah, I would say that we always like take steps in our life to minimize the risk based on what we're doing. I don't think that, these aren't even like really hot takes. This isn't that disagreeable. Would you say I mean, anything otherwise? Would you say that like, oh, well, if a woman wants, like, this is what it's like you're saying. If a woman wants to go out to a bar and she wants to get as wasted as she wants and she wants to go with any guy she wants, then it should always go okay. And you know what? I, it should. That would be great. That'd be yeah, awesome. Society. It should. But that's but not, not the society. Like, I know that we live we don't in a real live, world. Yeah. I know that we live so in a real world. So then why do we act otherwise? Is, why don't we the, act like that? The issue that? you're taking, you are, you are like, Taking an issue with and correcting this person who has undergone a traumatic experience. I don't give a shit if, like, you don't think it's trauma or whatever. It It is a traumatic experience. I know that you've experienced domestic violence, so it's so much more traumatic. And, you know, you, you, you were arguing on Twitter with, oh, well, I've experienced domestic violence. So I don't have to have empathy for this girl. Okay, like, hold on. Two huge things. One, my what I was referring to there was not a domestic violence incident, okay? It was a really bizarre event that happened when I was like 11, number one. And number two, it wasn't to say that I don't have empathy for the person. It was the idea that people like that person and like you make assumptions about my background that I think are really fucking weird while you're attacking me about making assumptions about another person that more or less tweeted the entirety of their experience initially. Now, they might have augmented that or changed it later on through some other tweets, but the initial thing they said was really stupid. Do you think that just because somebody's undergone a traumatic experience, all of a sudden they have a right to have a huge social platform to speak about whatever they want relating to that traumatic experience? That's ridiculous. We don't process People trauma the same way. Them. Like, if I get online and I start tweeting out, I'm going to be totally honest with you guys. I've been robbed by five black people. And every time I see a black person, I just, I have a, I just have a horrible reaction. I think that most of them are going to steal from me. Do you think that would be acceptable for me to tweet out just because I'm having a trauma response? Trauma is by definition irrational. I don't know why we would encourage people to share it online and then have other people build behaviors based on their trauma responses. I think that what other people do online is their business. What you do online is your business. And if no, you don't like it- No, what do you mean? Like it's social it, media. What is the social no, part of social yes, media it's, it's, stand yeah, for? Yeah, no, it's social media. And she chose to tweet it. And so, and so she chose to put it out publicly. No, no, she that's did. not how Twitter yeah, works. She chose to if put you it out publicly, you, know, you chose yeah, to insult go. her for mm -hmm. it. You chose so to So she chose to put it on a public platform, not to just her followers. She could lock her account if she wants. She chose to put it on a public platform. So anybody's free to take a dig if they want. You're putting it out there publicly to get all the likes in the world. You can put it on a public platform. And then I'm free to say that dig makes you a 
fucking dick and it's a terrible fucking take. You said you understand but how you, like, you established... told me and telling me that my take is bad mm -hmm. because uh, you know you said this because she put it out publicly. What you said was public. You you also tweeted publicly. So why am I not allowed to say shit about that? And like then you get I never upset. said you weren't allowed. Oh, well, Hold you on. don't I, understand so... me. You don't know yeah. me. You're making mm -hmm. assumptions about my my experiences. You knew her for one tweet. You knew her for one whole tweet. I at least know more about than that about you, right? So how come Destiny, the great Destiny, all right? The, the streamer extraordinaire, the man who fucks, right? Like you are immune to this. I'm not allowed to criticize you or I have to join a call with you and get like my ear talked off and then accused of interrupting you, but you interrupt me like twice as often and that's fine. I don't care. Do right? you think, End of the day, I'm curious, your opinion if we were means to, yeah. nothing to me beyond it was an entertaining thing to talk to stream about. Like that's it. Okay, so that's fine. But you, Destiny, the man who fucks, what I'm asking is, how do I obtain this amazing status where I can't be criticized? Well, I can criticize other people because I want that shit. That sounds awesome. How do I get that shit? When have I ever said that people aren't allowed to be criticized? Well, you said that you're allowed to criticize her because she put it out publicly, uh -huh. but I criticized you, and now we're in this situation. You're, hold on, am I here to tell you that you're not allowed to criticize me? It feels like it, a little bit, yeah. Because every can, can, criticism wait, I've had, you if get I, if like, I disagree, very annoyed about. Well, I'm not annoyed or upset. I just disagree. I'm allowed to disagree. Yeah, with and that's your fine. Right? You, you can disagree, but why do you need to voice that disagreement to me? Why do you feel the need to do that? That's well, that's why. why we're, would I, we're because at you're here, the right? person I disagree with. Why wouldn't I voice my disagreement with you and have a conversation but, but about it? Why Why do you need to have a conversation with me? Because why I think it's better to have a conversation with people I disagree with than to watch your video and say, "Wow, this guy sure is stupid," and then just move on. That doesn't feel very productive to me. Is, is, is it, that fair? Is it, not or? Okay to just, is it not okay to just watch a video of somebody criticizing you and go, wow, this guy's fucking stupid. He's got nothing worth th saying and then move on. Because that's what I do. Yeah, I that's think, I, I, think that's a, I don't like doing that. That's bad. I think that leads to echo chambers. Like why, what, like rather than just watch your video, write it off, call you a dumb bong oh, or move on. on. Like I could, yeah, Destiny, I could have a conversation Destiny, with you. Destiny, and then, dude, yeah. dude, uh -huh. you've got one of the biggest echo chambers on the internet. Your fans rapidly attack anybody that you disagree with. I fully expect to be bombarded with tweets, comments, dislikes, all of that shit from this. Luckily, I don't give a shit, but it's going to happen. And you know it. You know it and you encourage it, right? Like all the fucking time. So don't don't talk to me about an echo chamber when literally your chat sucks your dick or gets banned by your mods. And that's, again, that's how you run your community and it's absolutely fine. You do whatever the fuck you want online, okay? So if you were to go and look but, at my subreddit over the past two days and you were to look at the biggest yeah. threats on my subreddit, do you think most of the people in there were agreeing with my take or were chastising me for my take? I mean, I, I think this one is one of the few times that your audience has been like, hey, fuck you. And that's why you're backtracking. Like, you're backpedaling like a well, champion. Okay? So, firstly, Before I have a bad I literally, guy, but I defended every single thing that I tweeted in this conversation with you, including yeah, the retarded yeah. child take, number one. And number two, so you, then you the agree that it, it, seem, it seems strange then that you're saying that I had the biggest circle jerk in community on the internet, but then you're saying, okay, but for this last one, it doesn't seem like yeah. they circle jerked you. Sometimes, yeah, so, sometimes. So does it seem weird that I have the- people go too far and their circle jerks okay. run out. Sometimes that happens. Mm -hmm. It does happen. It does occur okay. when people go too far, you, and even the people you, circle jerking them are like. Do you like, think this is what? Do you think this Crowder? happens like have you once not a year? Crowder, where even his mm -hmm. fucking weirdos sitting around in his room, his little cheer squad, have been like, ah, damn, not sure about that one. Do you, do you have think, we not? Have we not seen that? Do you think that this is the only time my fan base has criticized me? I. I I don't know. Again, I don't follow okay, you, you that now, it's, it's All I know interesting is, because you say you don't you know, but now you're saying notorious. that I have, you said I had the largest Circle Jerk fan base on the internet. So that's just, that's a pretty big claim to make. Oh I don't think God. I have. Yeah, because, uh -huh. all right, sorry, I, uh -huh. I apologize. You're being pedantic over hyperbole and that's fine. You can do that and like make it base your argument off of that. We uh -huh. both know what I meant. So I you meant understand that right now. You have an incredibly when you say, Circle Jerky yeah. community. Okay. So, so here's what's happening, right? So you make a claim and I'm just saying like, hey, I think that's wrong. And then you're like, well, actually, I think that you've engaged in pedantic hyperbole. And I think that what you're actually doing is you're taking the words No, I didn't say you'd engaged in pedantic yeah. hyperbole. No, I said I'd engaged in hyperbole, which you well knew. You're, 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 you're the one that's turning this into a debate. Really. I'm just trying to have a conversation. You're getting like okay, very wound up over I, I'm like... I'm also trying to have a conversation. <laughs> no, you're not. And when, you, just, you just drove this off when and I'm accusing hyperbolic, me. When I'm hyperbolic? Yeah. Okay, so in your day-to-day -day life, if mm -hmm. somebody's hyperbolic, this is the best meal I've ever eaten. You're like, oh my God. The best well, it's meal not. You've it's ever not. Eaten? If somebody says this is the best meal I've ever eaten, and they're eating dog shit, I would probably look at them and I would say, "It's not that I disagree with your hyperbole. I disagree with the essence, the fundamental essence of your statement that it's good." Okay, so you don't believe that your mm -hmm. audience is circle jerky at all? Absolutely not. Compared to most political audiences on the internet, okay, that's, no way. Uh -huh. I, I, 
I, I'm sorry, from everything I've seen and heard. Which is I very little to nothing, admittedly. Well, right? I'm reading your chat right now. I, I, it's pretty obvious. Well, right? do you not like, think I've that read maybe your they chat just... during other debates. Uh -huh. I've read your chat during other debates. I've seen the way that your audience attacks people. I have seen the okay. destiny Whether effect. Whether my audience people attacks people, people or the destiny effect, that has nothing to do with my community. Uh -huh. It might be that you're watching my chat when I'm debating somebody exceptionally stupid. That might be happening right now. And there might, might be cases true, of that, yeah. but there are also plenty of times where my community pushes back on me, where I don't see that same pushback in other communities. So I thought that the essence of your statement saying that my community is exceptional when it comes to circle dragging me, that seems to be a little misfounded because I feel like one of my, my communities are one of the more critical communities on the internet. Uh, but you know- I don't believe so. I, yeah, no, but, I disagree, but, but that's is, fine. Yeah. Like, I, I think, mm -hmm. I think the fact that your community is agreeing and defending this take of yours mm -hmm. now. Well, at they're this they're, point, they're not. They, they initially, there's a lot of pushback in my subreddit over. Yeah, it. A and lot then, of pushback and then in my you, over, my uh, chat over. Yeah. yeah, but in this conversation, I think that you're failing to establish much at all because you seem to be getting really personal and really upset over it, rather than just like talking out the I, points. I'm, Dude, I'm just confused. I'm not upset. I, maybe what, I am. What are you? Stupid. If you maybe, maybe just, if you maybe try to let me get through one right. sentence without interrupting me, I can I've help you, you with anything you're confused I've let about. I've you make the point, but you're well, just making you? the same point over and over again. I'm not I, you, making the same point over. I'm fact. responding to everything you're saying. What am I ignoring? Tell me what I'm you're, ignoring. You're ignoring the fact that I have said multiple times, and my entire premise is, you did not know her complete situation. You made a snap judgment, and instead of going, "Holy shit, this is fucked up," right? Like, what happened to you is fucked up. That is bad. And if you had said it like this, maybe you'd have gotten less flack for it. I still think it would have been a bad take. But if you'd said, holy shit, that's so bad. He should not have done that. What a fucking scumbag. But maybe you should ra not pull back on the casual sex until you feel more comfortable voicing your boundaries during sex. Right? Like that, that would have been a way to put it where, you know, I'd believe this argument okay, cool. that you're coming from a place of good faith. So then at the end of this, you, you don't, you don't, her. gotcha. So you don't disagree with the essence of anything I said. You just think I could have been a little nicer about how I phrased it. No, I think that you weren't saying what you're now saying you said. What did I what I did I say? Okay, were. what did I say initially that you think I don't agree with anymore or that I'm not saying anymore? I think that when you made the well first Mindwave's tweet, right? Like fully just retweeting that and he was just going it basically it's her fault. She she should Do you have think sex. he's like, saying why is it's, she doing this? Hold on. Do you think that I don't know. taking some... Uh, like, dude, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, wait, 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 wait. I'm saying how it comes across, right? I'm saying how it comes across, not just to me, but to the, a if lot you, of people if you go, if you go, like, Hold on, hold I'm on. I'm the only if you person go, who read into it this way. If you go right? and park your car in a neighborhood and you leave a door unlocked and then somebody <sighs> um, opens your car door and they steal your shit, is it your fault that somebody stole shit from you? No. Okay, but Someone stole can't your you, shit. But Someone aren't there, into your car. Yeah, but aren't there... How is that your fault? Well, it, I agree. It's not your fault. But can't you okay. take some actions to mitigate that risk? Can't you? Isn't there some yeah. like responsibilities that you can have in order to make it so you're less likely to have your shit stolen? Yeah, but if I tweeted out, "Hey, someone robbed my fucking car. I'm I'm real upset. Like someone broke into my car and robbed it, right?" Mm -hmm. And then some douche nozzle replies with, "Well, then maybe you shouldn't have parked your car in a bad area." I'd be like, oh, fuck you, dude. Like, why Why is that your take? Why is that your immediate response? What if somebody said, I parked my car and it was broke, or, and somebody like, I parked my car, I don't lock the door. Somebody stole from it four times. And every time I saw somebody stealing from it, I was too but awkward to say anything. when you did your initial response, she hadn't said three times yet, had she? No, but she said that she so didn't like, say anything because she felt so, so awkward. So your take, your take, okay, but awkward is just a word to describe discomfort, right? Like, yeah, but if you, but in many forms. sex, again, is, people sex can be awkward or uncomfortable sometimes. If you're yeah. feeling that way about sex, maybe you shouldn't have casual sex. But maybe we shouldn't encourage on, those people to have casual <sighs> sex. Maybe there should be a higher level of maturity expected so your before issue, you engage your in casual sex. Your issue is that she used the word awkward. If she'd said threatened or scared, if she'd said scared, would you have replied the same way? Threatened or scared implied some different behavior from the guy. If she'd said scared, would you have replied in a different way? Um, yeah, I think scared, I probably would have read it quite a bit differently. Okay, so it's just that you don't have the ability to empathize and understand that sometimes people use minimizing language. You just don't understand that piece of psychology. If you're using you minimizing language, you know, and some people have a tendency to call other people racial slurs as a pejorative, but who cares? If you're tweeting out something publicly for everybody to consume publicly, and you've put that message out there, of course I'm going to be critical of that message if, if I think it's a wrong or bad or, or harmful message. And just being awkward in a sexual encounter is not a good reason not to speak up. But it's, it's not a just being awkward. She was describing 
stealthing, which is rape. Again, it doesn't like matter that it's rape. Her. That's that's not relevant. There are plenty of uh, way it, it worse does. things. It, no, it doesn't. <laughs> what happens is, is a guy is trying to push a boundary during sex. If somebody sees it happening, like, well, it was awkward, so I didn't say anything. Okay, that's you know, that's bad that that happened, but you probably shouldn't be having casual sex. If just something being awkward is enough to keep you from speaking up, don't have casual sex. Why is that so hard for you to understand? No, I, I understand your argument. I think it's a stupid argument. What, what I, I part think of it's a bad so you argument think, Okay, say, so here's no, a question. I, I here's a really easy question. To say, cut sure. out this entire part sure. of human existence that you you. That's not. Enjoy, it doesn't have right? to be You've a part of human life, existence to go out and have a bunch of casual sex. You don't have to do. People have not done that for a long time. What if you want okay. to though? But what if you want to though? Then too bad. If you don't, if you can't handle the responsibilities that come along with it, then you shouldn't be allowed to do it. There are some people that want to drive and they drink and drive too much and they lose their license. If you go out and you can't verbalize boundaries or if you can't ensure that you're going to have a safe time, then you probably shouldn't be having casual sex or people shouldn't encourage you to do it. But this is like someone having their driver's license taken away because somebody else keeps rear-ending them. That's not, it's not the same thing. You're like, oh, people keep abusing your boundaries and like abusing you and you feel scared in those situations. Well, I guess you can't ever have casual sex again because you don't deserve it because Wait, of other people's actions. It's not about you deserving it and it's not about you never being able to do it again. It's developing some baseline of emotional or intellectual or sexual maturity so that you can voice a boundary during a sexual interaction. We should encourage people to do that before having sexual interactions. If you can't handle being raped or if you can't speak up when being raped or after being raped or whatever. We're not talking about, I don't like using the word being raped here because you're implying such a I mean, she was raped. I'm sorry, you don't like it because you got read on it, but she was raped. That is what happened. I don't like Like, it because you're implying a huge level of maliciousness that where there probably was. And do you know he wasn't? Generally, if a person is trying to stealth, generally, you, so you you have exper- you have interviewed and spoken to loads of people who stealth people all the time. You know the mindset of a stealther. Who have you spoken to who stealths regularly? If somebody is trying to stealth you, it's because they're trying uh-huh. to avoid the confrontation of just fucking you without a condom. So by default, I would assume this person is probably not very confrontational. That's why they're stealthing That's you and not just throwing. An Do you really think that? Then why? Okay, then why would somebody stealth somebody instead of just fucking them without the condom? Because they think they can get away with it because it's an easier way. People take the path of least resistance. Exactly. You understand that it's no, no, not that you they're just afraid resta- of the confrontation. What you just said was restating no, no, my no, point. No, you they're said taking, they're afraid you know of the confrontation. They're non-confrontational. Yes. When you say taking That's the path, the when thing. you say taking path of least resistance, do you know what increases the resistance? Somebody telling you, "Hey, don't do that. You're not going to fuck me without a condom." Well, now all of a sudden, fucking somebody with a condom has a, li- a very high level of resistance. You just restated what I said in different words. No. Oh my god, I, I don't understand how you are literally taking what I'm saying and just changing it to fit your argument. Okay, here, and then so then here's like a really here's a really done. here's a really simple no, question. Listen, 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 please, if, if, please, 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 just for a second. Okay, one listen second, to go what ahead. I'm saying. <laughs> okay, I'll try okay. it for the first time. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. People, right, do things that are easy. And if they think they can get away with the easy way of doing it, they'll do that instead of a confrontation. That does not mean that that person is averse to any form of confrontation. You understand that, right? Like, I'm a relatively confrontational person, but I don't go around looking for confrontations to have, and I don't go to a confrontation Mm -hmm. on the first thing that I disagree with, or have someone violate a boundary, Mm -hmm. or if I want to do something that somebody maybe... Sure, I understand. So here's a question. Above, Above and below 50%, do you think that if a guy, if you tell a guy... I want to have sex with a condom. And then the guy during sex takes the condom off. Do you think he has above or below a 50% chance of just doing it anyway, of fighting you through it? If you try and stop him. If you say no, yeah. I have no idea. Okay, you kind of you no you you have, have to have some understanding of this to have a strong opinion here. Because your answer here no, really no, varies not, how the woman should you're act. Saying, you're, saying, you're saying that I should boil it down to the statistical chance of yeah, that's how we, this is how we live. This is how we live life. Yeah, we we run number games all the time. What are the chances of me dying in a car accident if I drive to work every day? Versus what but are the chances? Maybe of, yeah. maybe because she'd spent an evening with him and she had experienced his personality mm-hmm. and had spoken with him and all of that. 
maybe it's not about the statistical chance worldwide of men doing it. Maybe it's what you have evaluated as the chance sure. of him specifically doing it. That's fine. So, so my question don't know is what her evaluation of him was. Sure, let's, what let's if her assume... evaluation was what if her evaluation, she ran that number game in her head. She was like, okay, uh, uh, yeah, divide by three. Okay. And then you've got to, uh, yeah, you've got to take into account the fact that he had steak instead of the fish. Okay. And then all of this. Okay. Yeah. So you're doing the thing that you accuse me of doing. Well, you ramble onto a whole bunch of irrelevant shit that you accuse me of doing. I've been very clear and concise. And now you're telling me that, well, maybe she's making a calculation about what the kind of food they eat. That's not what we're talking about. We run number games all the time. Okay. So I'm just making fun of you because I think your position is ridiculous. It's it's not. I, I mean, I can tell you about how normal human I'll interactions mute, work if you want me to. Next time I want to make fun of you, I'll mute the Discord next time I want to make fun of you, and I'll just do it, you know, you know, silently. Okay. <laughs> so you don't hear it. So, it's fine. Okay. Look, you're, what okay. if she decided oh, yeah, that he was more likely than mm-hmm. not mm-hmm. to continue the rape mm-hmm. if she pointed it out? Like, like, obviously, we now know that she didn't find out until afterwards, so this mm-hmm. is irrelevant. But what if, hypothetically... In this tweet that she sent, what if it was a person who had decided that that person was more likely to rape than not? And then you still came in with your take. But then your take's incorrect by your own argument, right? Because if he's more likely to rape than not, mm-hmm. then you shouldn't speak up. If that's you your think, argument. If you, you think, yeah, if, you think that, if you think that's the case, that a guy that tries to sell somebody after being told not to is, is more likely to do it if a, if a woman verbally asserts her boundary then we're back to the other space where you're basically saying, if you're a woman and a guy starts to push a boundary, don't say anything because he's going to do it anyway. So you're basically just laying no, there at the mercy. That's said, exactly. I said, make a decision. I Again, make a decision based on the specific guy and the specific situation and to use your best judgment is what I'm saying. Sometimes, actually, if a guy tries to stealth you, uh-huh. you might be better off saying nothing if you think that he might be violent because you're scared of violence, right? Which is a pretty normal response. And sometimes yeah, okay, you'll okay, think, okay, wow, so I have to, yeah, okay, 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 so I, on Twitter okay. That I have to, hold on, hold on, hold on. I have to, I have to mute you for a second because you're giving like pro rape advice on my stream, okay? So give me one second, okay? So if what? you are in a sexual circumstance with somebody and they feel like, you feel like they're pushing your boundaries, you absolutely should speak up. I don't know why there are no, men no, on the I, internet, I, I that, I'm muting you, hold on, sorry, okay? I don't know why there are men on the internet that spread this idea that if you're a woman and a guy starts to push a boundary, you just have to shut up and get raped. That is absolutely not true. The vast majority of people that are pushing boundaries like that will usually fuck off if you tell them, hey, stop. Now, there are certain circumstances if a guy pulls out a knife or does some crazy shit, then of course you have to fucking, uh, you know, like make a decision. Okay, well, fuck, am I about to die? Which I, I can understand. The vast majority of the time that you should absolutely speak up. This idea that you need to freeze every fucking time a guy tries to do something, there are a lot of rapists that are hoping you'll do that. This guy is giving really good advice to rape women, okay? There are guys that want you to freeze up. That if I try to push this woman's boundary, maybe she won't say anything. Maybe she'll be not confrontational. Maybe she'll feel really awkward. And maybe I can do, maybe I can fuck her in the ass. Maybe I can slip the condom off. Maybe I can do this thing or whatever she wants. There are a lot of guys that are really creepy and really pushy and they want you to have that response. That's what they're looking for when you do that, okay? Um, don't let, don't do that. Yeah, okay. That's as I'm giving pro-rape advice or whatever. I'm saying that we shouldn't go after the woman in the situation where she didn't feel comfortable speaking up because that can happen. Mm -hmm. And I can guarantee there are situations in which if you were being raped, you would not feel comfortable speaking up. Cool. There are situations where that would happen. Now that mm -hmm. bar might be different for Mm -hmm. you than it was for her. Mm -hmm. But my point is that there is always going to be a situation in which you won't feel safe speaking up. Yeah, that's not what we're talking about here, though. Where you won't no, but if there's always a situation mm-hmm. where you will reach that bar, then nobody should have casual sex because any casual sex encounter could lead to that situation potentially. Okay, so here's a, here's a question. That I guess this is the question of the day. Let's say that you have a person, okay, you have a woman, and she says, you know what? If I was in a situation with a guy and they tried to stealth me and I noticed it happening, I don't think I would feel very comfortable speaking up and saying anything. Is this a woman that you think should be having casual sex or should probably wait to have casual sex? Or maybe not have. But is she all. saying it about a? Is she saying it about a specific guy? Because again, she might. I'm gonna need. I, I'm gonna need you to. I need you to. I need you to actually try to critically engage with this instead of trying to hide behind a whole bunch of ramble. Okay. So what Look, I'm, I'm telling you is, you I'm are. You a I'm question. telling you that there is a girl, and she says, generally speaking, the, I, I don't generally really, speaking, generally not speaking, feel comfortable with any guy saying it. Yeah. But did we have a? That's a complete non. 
argument because we never were in that situation. Or did she say on Twitter at some point, and I missed it, where she said, I would not feel comfortable saying it to any guy who stealthed me. Did that happen? So let me, I'll ask the question again. That? I don't know if you're going to be able to engage with it because I think you understand that you can't. So if you have a woman and she says, I don't really feel comfortable ever verbalizing a boundary. If I'm with a guy and he starts to break a boundary, I don't really feel comfortable speaking up about that. Do you think that that woman should or shouldn't be engaging in casual sex? I think that woman should not be engaging in council sex if she could not speak up to any guy. If she's like, there's okay. no situation in which I would feel comfortable cool. speaking up. All right, then we don't, the I don't think we... With your so the person on Twitter said that this has happened like three or four times to them. Not until after you'd made your tweet. Yeah, so but they also irrelevant. they also didn't say anything about finding out afterwards. No, 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 hold on. You just said they tweeted more shit. So let's talk about all the shit they tweeted. No, no, no but I, I said that we found that out afterwards. But examining your take... From what you'd seen, your take is fucking terrible. My take from what I'd seen was she said that it was it was too awkward to say anything. Awkward does not usually mean not safe. That's not how people use that word, at least not in America. Uh, yeah, because if she didn't feel, yeah, because people often, right, are just getting raped and they're like, oh, also, well, this is a bit awkward. Actually, so and I'm even just... what you're saying is not true. Oh, no, hold on. Nobody that's getting raped is like, this is a bit awkward. What are you that's, talking that's, about? Sorry, that was sarcasm. That was my joke. Oh, that okay. I saying, can't yeah. tell because you said a lot of stuff that's really funny uh, without intending to. So even in her oh, second okay. tweet, the one that I responded to initially, she'd already said that she'd gotten stealth like three times and like, men, you can do better. So it seems like there's some reoccurring problem here. So it seems yeah, like maybe, maybe it's... she's run into some shitty dudes and like during the encounter, she's felt unsafe. Okay. That's if all. If you had a friend and they were like, man, I got raped three times in a row. This sucks. I'm going to go meet another guy tonight. Would you be like, well, good luck tonight. I hope it goes differently. Or would you say, hey, maybe it's time to step back to the drawing board and reevaluate. And maybe there's like some way that you can change your behavior to keep yourself safer. So that you don't run into these creepy, horrible rapist guys. Yeah, I mean, sure, that's that's fine, but that's not what you said, is it? That's not what the, the, we're arguing something that like, if you'd phrased it this way, or if you'd said this, would it have been okay? And it's like, yeah, no, it would sure. have been okay to so say- So the way that hey, I phrase, so, here is, here, so here's what would happen, okay? If I had a retarded child that kept doing something over and over and over again, I would say, hey, I need to pick you up and lock you in a room or do something because you have no agency or control of your life. When you tell a woman, hey, you've gotten raped three times in a row, four times in a row, man, well, good luck on the next one. You are treating that woman like a retarded child that has no agency over her life. Saying to a woman, hey, you could learn to like set your boundaries or voice your discomfort if a boundary is violated you could learn to do that and it might be a good idea if this has happened to you isn't that repeatedly. literally the exact first is tweet is that is the first tweet that insane. mindwave said he said maybe if this has happened three times and you thought it was too awkward to say something you shouldn't be having casual sex that was the advice yeah but the argument is that you should just abstain if, if you can't do this you, you should, should just abstain you should abstain but you've agreed with me you literally said if a girl said i don't feel comfortable voicing this boundary you said yeah you shouldn't have casual sex well, you agreed with me there. So don't act like it's a ridiculous position. It's a ridiculous position when you are a stranger on the internet reading into a situation that's 140 characters or less. Okay, this is Twitter. It's not my fault that somebody that. else decided to present their no, trauma in 140 no, no, characters or less. Say, You're presenting that no, message publicly. Okay, yeah, Other I'm people are going to comment on it. All right, cool. Yeah, no. You done? We good? If, if we were to bet right now, $10 on I'll, who's I'll interrupted who more, who do you think would come out ahead on that bet? Do you think you've interrupted me more? I have no me? idea. Okay, you've I, interrupted I me no considerably idea. more and talked more too. Sure, but, okay. Okay. Cool. I'm just saying. I don't think you realize that, but it's all good. Uh, all right. No, that's fine. So are we done? I mean, I, I think we've gone in a circle here enough times. I, I don't think that the response of, hey, you should abstain from casual sex is a good response to somebody... Um, talking about stuff that's happened to them, especially when you don't know the details of the situation. I think that if you wanted why, okay, to say if something, that you could was say, the case, hey, why would you, why would you, you feel like, comfortable speculating the details of my personal life then when you don't know anything about my personal life? And I haven't chosen to make that public, like this person did with their experiences. You haven't chosen to make what public? Please be more specific. I spoke about a lot of shit. About so you. things like related to my family, like I'm not sitting here like going through the details of like why I did or didn't decide to move or whatever. Like these aren't things that I generally like make public. But you felt like really comfortable commenting on that, like in a pejorative manner. But for some reason, I can't comment on somebody else's tweets that I think can be demonstrably harmful if people are taking this as advice. I mean, sure, but she wasn't talking shit on somebody. I, like, I, I think that what you're willing to do online, you should be willing to take it as well. If you're willing to talk shit about strangers, you should be willing to have strangers talk shit about you. She had not gone out of her way to talk shit about anybody. 
she was just talking about her own experience. So if somebody and goes online maybe, and they talk about an experience where they've had really bad experiences with a ton of black people and they just don't trust them anymore, it's okay. Nobody can attack that. Nobody can criticize that position or talk shit on her. Like, that's okay. Like, that was your personal experience. Don't you think that if you submit something to the public for evaluation that it's probably going to have good and bad responses? Isn't that kind of to be expected? Why, why, why do you keep trying to relate this back to like someone going on a basically a racist rant on the internet? And you're like, that's the same thing as saying you got Well, no, raped. it's not the same. I would argue oh, that her that thing is worse. Uh, I'm, sorry, saying, I'm saying Andrew. that her tweets were worse because this is the we're type worse of- Worse than somebody going online and yes. just being racist. Yes, because the type of advice that people like her and you give is what leads to more people getting raped. That's so my what issue. What type of advice do I give? What type of advice? When you advice say do things like, women? "Well, men just shouldn't rape," lol, you're not helping the, anybody. Is that, is that I said just men shouldn't rape, or did I say that we need a comprehensive overhaul of our entire education system in order to implement sex ed at a low age? If you are like a woman and you're having casual have sex, always if, you know, the lowest no. rape mm -hmm. statistics. Like, you're, the if you're if you're a woman that is having casual sex right now. And the only advice online is we need to build, rebuild education for young boys from the ground up. Okay, that's great. So when you're 60 years old, fucking 20 or 30 year olds that are coming up your new type of education, that's going to help you. No, what? This is ridiculous. What do you mean? So we shouldn't do that. So you don't think the best way to solve the systemic issue of rape, because it is, you know, it happens a lot. Like there is a lot of rape going on. Okay. Like it is a relatively common crime which is very upsetting the best you think that the best response to that is to go we should address it on a case-by-case -case basis instead of saying that we, we obviously should punish people who do it but instead of saying hey maybe we should implement education systems that have been proven to work in reducing rape is that is that what you're saying is that your argument i what i'm, I'm saying sorry is that, that i'm such an idiot you know that you want to laugh at me and I, I everything i say is funny but i'm genuine this he literally never stops so the, the best thing to do is to acknowledge that it takes two people to have sex and that there are improvements of behavior on both sides that we can encourage that would lead to less people getting raped. But do you not think that when it comes to rape, the blame rests with the rapist? Well, no, I don't. Blame is such a boring and stupid and unhelpful thing to talk about. Okay. Is it the Can rapist's fault think? for raping all the time? Yes, every time, of yeah. course. But that doesn't yeah. get us anywhere, okay. right? If my all son right. wants to learn so how to drive, I'm not going to tell him. I'm not. I'm not going to tell him. Hey, go out, drive. Good luck. Sometimes there are drunk drivers, but there's nothing you can do about it. And by God, if they drunk drive and they crash into your car, that's their fault. That's not what I'm going to say. I'm going to say here are like the ten different things you can do to minimize your risk when you are engaging with drunk drivers. This is how we act in life. It's not about this obsession, this virtue signaling purity of trying to figure out who to blame in every encounter. It's what steps can we take as a society to minimize the risk to the parties involved. So if your goal is to yeah. like blame rapists and, what, and talk what, about how bad rape steps, is, you can do that. What steps yeah. have been proven? What steps have been proven then to reduce rape in countries that have implemented said steps? So one is better education on the male side for pursuing sex, and two is better education on the female side for improving oh, sex. Oh yeah, no, I agree with the. I agree that everybody needs better education, men yeah, and cool. women. I'm not saying so that that's not the case. So one thing of education reduce. that is very helpful for women is, hey, if a guy is pushing your boundaries during sex, it's okay to say no. It's okay to verbalize them. You're not going to get raped and murdered every yeah, single time. Yeah, I, I think it's important to yeah. teach women that. But that's, and if you again, aren't capable of doing this, if you aren't capable of doing this. No, you see, that's the issue I have. Okay, go like ahead. You saying, if you aren't capable of doing this, maybe you say, hey, you should verbalize this. You should try maybe taking martial arts or self-defense no, classes. No, no, so no, no, no. You don't understand. You don't understand no. rape. You don't understand anything about this. Don't I? If, if I was having sex with a 110 pound woman, do you think that her having martial arts training is going to keep her safe? What does that even mean? What are you talking about? No, no, no. Do you think, I, I do you, think hold on, hold on, wait, wait. Do you think that the goal here is to train a woman up to be fucking Sarah Connor to fight off a man? Is that what, is that what I said? Yes. I said any number of things to increase your confidence in a, in a dangerous situation. One of the things that martial arts teaches you is how to keep calm. Right, which increases your odds of being able to vocalize that you're being raped and you don't like it. It increases your odds of being confident in situations, of knowing how to escape a situation, knowing how to move your body, and knowing how to get out of a situation is in fact very good. Okay, if you I gotta, I, okay, I gotta pause real again because you're giving more <laughs> advice to rapists. Hold on, I'm sorry. Okay, so what? I'm very sorry, but if you are an average build woman and you are having sex with an average build man. 
you are going to need years of training to overcome oh, yeah, no, somebody no, like this. I'm, I'm and oftentimes, depending on the though, position like... you're in, no amount of training will help you. If you're a 110 pound woman and you've got a 220 pound guy on top of you, I don't care if you got 30 years of BJJ under your belt, you're getting, you're fucked. You're absolutely fucked. So this idea of like training to get I'm out of sure. situations, I, I, I'm blah, 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 blah. Sure. Have... I'm That you, exact analogy, I'm actually yeah, not sure you're about just, that. You're just, I, 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 I know you're not done... sure. You're not sure about a lot of things, okay? But I'm just saying that like, okay, even, yeah. like even when you try to like pivot off into like giving advice on things, it seems like you just have no concept of like, why do people get raped? How do they get raped? What can women do to not get raped? Like this idea of like, well, if you take a martial arts, you'll be more confident to maneuver out no, of a no, position. No. That's not, no, no, that's no. not, I, you don't need any of that. That's not, and see, you're a good example of I'm, why we need more education oh about this on both I wasn't sides. I saying, hey, we should train all women to be fucking ninjas. I'm saying in that one specific situation where that girl clearly has an inability to voice it because she feels not confident enough, that maybe for her, there could be specific solutions to increase her confidence, right? We were talking in the context of the individual, and then you're like, oh yeah, we should train all women to be Sarah Connor. I just, like, I, I just. <laughs> that's not what I said though. I said that if you'd said that, it uh -huh. would have been less egregious online. If you'd yeah, said, it hey, would be less egregious, but it would be more harmful because that advice is dog shit. I'm sorry. Like I, what? That somebody should find a way to boost their confidence yeah, that's, so that during yeah. casual sex encounters they yes. feel more confident. That's dog no. shit. Yes, that's they a should dog just quit advice. sex entirely. Instead no, of there are other things you can do. There are other things you can do to build safer sexual interactions. It's, it has nothing to do with taking martial arts. No, but do you realize I said three other things before what I said What were the other arts? things you said? Sorry. Yeah. Random example. I don't <laughs> remember. <laughs> I it's know you don't because you have no fucking idea I'm what tired. you're talking about. <laughs> um, okay. Well, hey, listen. Good luck to you. Um, Did you I not have issues for... with my personal insults or are, are you good Are you good on that now? Well, we're, I don't. I don't I, yeah, I don't think there's... I, I mean, like, you don't even know about the general topic. I can't imagine how much you can know about the... Oh, I, I, yeah, no, I'm sorry. I, I clearly don't understand the topic because I said that martial arts might boost a specific person's confidence. Why would we be having a conversation? When we're speaking well, exactly. generalities, why would the we be having a conversation you, about the, specific... Like, you know, really boost versus confidence? Maybe if we hacked their computer and we gave them false astrology readings every day and then when they read their daily astrology reading, it says, hey, today you're going to be a confident Virgo that doesn't get raped and that's but, the way to prevent well i'm talking about one specific person like what are you talking about like why, why we don't give advice to one specific person that's not what we're speaking about generalities of society okay, that's what we're talking about uh, like you brought it back to the one specific person because you said her specifically right you brought the conversation back to that so i was like oh yeah so your tweet you could have said this the reason i went to martial arts as an example is because that's how i built confidence when i was younger right i took up martial arts because it was a good way for me to deal with my anger over my trauma Right? So that's fine. It just, it worked for me. So uh -huh. if I was asked to give advice on how could I build confidence because I've had traumatic experiences in the past, I would say martial arts would work. It's a good way for me. It was, it worked for me. So gotcha. in that specific situation, if a uh -huh. girl was asking for advice on how to build her confidence. So okay. <laughs> I, all right. I'm good on this. I'm going to go do my other thing. Bonger's going to bong, man. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? What? Hold on, am I crazy? This guy interrupted me way fucking more. I tried to be more assertive in like the last half, but in the first half, I feel like I couldn't get out like a single fucking sentence. Um, holy shit. I, like, I, I couldn't finish a single fucking thought. Sorry, okay. Okay, is this working? Can you hear me? Yes. Jesus. I can hear Jesus. everyone. Okay. Gotcha. Sorry, my audio is having issues, but... I don't know if I can hear everyone. I hear voices, and I assume two male voices are the host and Destiny. Um, yeah, the one and only.